In this video we're going to show you how to handle the situation when something happens that you're not expecting or it's not the normal part of the process. So you can see here we've already got some observations made. I'm going to play the video and I'm going to capture the next activity. So I'm just watching it, nothing unusual here. Pulls away, we stop it right there, that's another buff sides. You can see here now I've got two observations of buff sides. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the next one which is buff the bottom. Now something's going to happen at the end here is actually going to pull it away and come back in again and we stop it right there and that's the buff bottom but that's not representative let's say of how long we think it should take. I'm going to hit the skip here, click the skip button here. Right, that's it. So it highlights the skip and then I save it right here. Now what that does, it puts a little S in here which means that is going to be skipped or suppressed from the final calculation. Let's keep going, we'll do the uh, aside and get next. And that's okay, we stop it right there, aside and get next. And that's normal again by default, and then we click on the save. So what we've got is we've got two observations of each activity. Now if we go to the summary now, what you'll notice here, we've only got one observation of the buff bottom. And that observation is 4.695. So if we go back to the data collection, the 4.695 was the first observation. The S character you see right here is actually suppressing this particular observation because that's not representative of how long it should take to do something. So again, that would show up by reducing the number of observations you have in your time study summary screen.